to be spiritual. No, no, no. A one, a two, a three, let's go. Okay, my guy is not ready. This is the style of this song. A one, a two, a three, a go. With Afrobeats, it's almost like a portal, right, that transports you through time and space. And that allows you to re-engage with your African culture on your own terms. You know, Afrobeats is coming up and it's huge right now, like worldwide. Afrobeat culture is taking over. But Africa has never really been granted the acknowledgement and the due credit it deserves. Alright, right now I'm about to go to the uh, deepest underground spiritual level. Right now, anything you see or anything you hear is allowed. New York City, make some noise for the one and only Mr. Easy! I was born in Nigeria. My dad was in the military, so we moved back and forth everywhere. After high school at 15, I moved to Ghana and I started work to get more money in school as a promoter. So at some point I was like the biggest party boy in Ghana. First I noticed there will be just a handful of Nigerians at the Ghana parties and Ghanaians at the Nigerian parties. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna start doing parties that would have everybody and so I will make records that on the drums sounded Ghanaian and on the chords sounded Nigerian and I will mix Ghanaian lyrics with Nigerian lyrics and fast forward 2016, that was the new sound of Africa. So let's, let's learn it. Daddy, no. Daddy. <laughs> Ras. That's it. He's even saying the wrong thing. In the midst of your stupidity, you remain confident. <laughs> it is. Daddy, 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 Da di di di, da di da di 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 da. That's it. I be on green man, baby give me food to make a trouble. To woman be sad, I will bet. Baby give me food to make a trouble. Tonight I be on green man, baby give me food to make a trouble. To woman be sad, I will bet. The best way I could explain the African sound is vibes, is spiritual vibes. You know, a lot of genres have rules. Afrobeat is just based on the spirit and you just follow the groove. Just merge your vocals with the instrumental and make it one. Listen, tonight I'll be a great man. Baby, give me food to make a trouble. To whom I'm in sign, I'll be there. Baby, give me food to make a trouble. Tonight I'll be a great man. Baby, give me food to make a trouble. To whom I'm in sign, I'll be there. I am feeling so much love tonight. The sound I came into the game with was a merger of Ghana and Nigeria, two very beautiful cultures. On the core of the Ghanaian sound is 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 the drums. The you hear, you always hear, you always hear, you always hear this, you know and. Then on the Nigerian side, you hear more chords. So you get to the clubs in Ghana, you hear more drums and kicks. But when you get to Nigeria, you hear more sweetness, chords, and this was what we blended. And right now, that's the sound. Before I even got into the scene, I used to, I used to do my research and I see like back in, say, 1992, somebody like Majek Fashek was on the David Letterman show. 
and he was performing Afrobeat. You have people like Fela touring the world. And, but one would think that if the genre had got into that point at that time, it would be one of the forefront. But for whatever reason it went, it took a backslide. Well, I feel like between that time and now, there's been a relapse. It's a blessing that I'm part of the movement bringing it back. Now we gotta come with culture, and that's why I am a team are trying to attach culture to the sound. The way there's there's culture with dancehall, there's culture with reggae music. I hope I can do that. So we go by the name Kingsman. All right, this is the station. This is our uh, my station. What is this? This is the uh, the controller. Mr. Man of the Hour. Got it. He will tell you all what he got. Ah, uh, what do I have here? All right. <laughs> What's going on? This is the Yamaha stage costume with the Zujan symbols. You know, I have a little bit of everything here. I got my bass right here, my baby Ibanez all day. This is the boo of life. This boo has been with me since 2012 till now. And I have my guy here. This is the second boo, man. I got all the key bass sounds, the synth sounds. I don't know nothing about this right now, but he could probably tell you guys what he got. I got my DJ set up. I'm gonna be on the microphone as well. Gonna be singing a little bit. Gonna be rapping, doing some comedy. Gonna catch me dancing on stage a little bit as well. Mickey treat me because Mr. Easy's bringing the African vibes, African fusion to everyone basically. Just good music, supplying good music and showing Africa deserves its place on the billboards and stuff like that. It's all love to America, all love to the world. Until you own your own, you can't be free. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the numbers so that I'll be able to be an authority to speak. My dream is to kind of like have a platform where like non-pop Artists African do, artists do their can do their thing and create an ecosystem where they can still generate revenue. Back in Africa, we stop. You can't book. You can't book us. Mm -hmm. We only play at our shows back in Africa, and that way we control the quality of the show. We control the production, and we we control exactly how we want people to feel when they come for the concert. It's your boy Easy. Oh, this is huge, especially being Ghanaian Independence Weekend. You. Having a concert for our Independence Day shows that Ghana, we made it. We up there, right? Mr. Easy represents like two sides uh, of Africa and the combination that he does has really, I believe, catapulted him to the people like me to enjoy his music and really appreciate it and actually see a reflection of me as someone that is Hispanic appreciating African music as well. I'm actually from Atlanta, Georgia. So I flew all the way down from Atlanta just to come for this concert. Ghana's Independence was extraordinary because it wasn't it wasn't an insular event, right? It was a, very much a global event. Kwame Nkrumah, the first president, went to school in the U.S., was connected with Marcus Garvey, W.E.B. Du Bois, George Padmore, and he situated the struggle for independence in Ghana in the broader global struggle for the rights of black people. And I, I think that narrative as relevant as it was in 1957, is relevant today. The fact that we're here at Times Square celebrating an artist from West Africa um, who's performing here, I think, is a sign of the times. There's no greater time for Africa than now. I feel like this is just the beginning. Like, I did two shows in the UK in the space of five days. One was like 8,000 capacity, the other one was 3,000 capacity. So, that's 11,000 people came out to see me in five days in the UK, in, in London, in one city. It just made me know that, man, I was onto something. And it was time to kind of like put all that plan to happen. And we've just been following that same plan. Coming in? Let me just Quick, hold hands. Just everyone hold hands. Can we close the door, please? Can we close the door? Close the door, close the door please. Um, I don't know. Everyone's religious faiths, but let's just try this, okay? Father Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for bringing us here together. Thank you for bringing us to this event, and we thank you for allowing this day to find you here. It's a blessing for me to be able to not only make music that relates to Nigeria and Ghana, but also make music that can be used to celebrate independence. 
my dream ultimately is to have concerts where I don't just have Ghanaians and Nigerians. I want it to be like a UN conference. Father Lord, allow us to have fun. Enjoyment is the key. Father Lord, allow everything to just go smoothly. Let us just be blessed and allow Mr. Easy to have the vocals to be able to just minister to these people. Hey, yeah. December last year, my mom called me and my mom is like, hey Tosin, I've, I've heard your new song. Listen to it and she puts it by the radio. And it's not my song, it's someone else's song. I felt like, you know what, if a lot of songs are beginning to sound the same and I'm already making records that have gone beyond that sound, perhaps it's time to do a farewell, a goodbye to that particular identity sound. My baby be my loyal partner. Exo, she know they do me while you I like she be the realest. <laughs> Nobody know the struggles where we face. As you see me, they smile today while I'm not buying grace. Oh Lord, nobody know what I hand like where we face. As you see me for New York today while I'm not buying grace. 
everyone now. Di da da di di di. Shout out to Rex Oma. Da di da di 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 da. Everybody sing that. Say. Di da da di di di. Da di da di 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 da. I wanna hear them sing. One more time. Say. Di da da di di. Say what? Ebami Kori, di da da di di di, da di da di 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 da. See, if you feel this music, move your body. If you love somebody, make you tell and make you know. Ebami Ki, my mommy, help me to greet my mommy, help me to salute my daddy, help me salute my daddy, oh. Nobody know the struggles where we face. Ghana was one of the first countries on the African continent to get independence from the British. It was more of a fight for identity, for ownership, and I feel it still continues, you know. And for me, every Independence Day is actually a time to reflect and ask ourselves, are we truly independent? So I'm now an ambassador for Nigeria. I'm an ambassador for Ghana, and I'm with I'm with my people, promoting the culture. And in a way, this is this is a colonization. We are now colonizing our old colonialists, and we are colonizing them with the culture. Ice water, ice water, ice water. Oh baby girl, this your body is causing commotion. It is stand the attention, flood the my mention. Oh baby, get this your body. It's causing commotion. My baby, it is stand attention. I go flood your mention. Let's go. Light me up like I easy. Come on me like I be busy. Try to do all like I was a busy. For your phone like a everybody now. Light me up like I easy. Come on me like I be busy. Try to do all like I was a busy. Let's try it together, a cappella. A cappella. Listen, when I wake up in the morning, I'm your boy.